Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I thought I would just hop on and share what I've been doing for the hashtag the 100 day project. Um, I'm just mine. The only thing I've stated is that I want to try to do something in my craft studio every day. So that could be, you know, sewing, it could be a paper craft, it could be organization. So far it's been sewing. <laughs> I've been on a kick. Now I am, this was my first day, it was this bunny block. Um, I belong to a Facebook girl group called Stitch It With Cricket and Carol Prevost is the administrator of that group and she designed this quilt block in Cricut Design Space. So I used that file and cut it out with my maker and assembled it. She has assembly tutorials as well. Um, I do plan on putting like a button right here for his eye. It does really make a difference how it looks because I've laid it down and taken photos and shared those on Instagram and he looks a lot better with the button but I probably won't add those until after I assemble it. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these bunnies so you'll see them popping up throughout the 100 day challenge because I'm going to assemble them into a table runner for Easter. Day two was block 12 of the 52 blocks in 52 weeks. So that was that one. And then at the end, you're supposed to assemble all those into a quilt as well. So day three was another bunny. The fabric I used for the bunny part I got both of the, those prints at the local quilt shop called Lucky Quilt Company. And today is day four and I did this carrot block. This was from the sewing loft. It's quilt, quilts to block. Oh, blocks to quilts. I said that wrong. I said that wrong. It's the other way. But it, she has a website and a blog and she's been re releasing one a week and the first week it's out you can get the design for free and then i just took her directions put them into design space and cut it out with my maker and then assemble it i did make a mistake on this one i'll be honest um i'm pretty sure i was supposed to use the smaller white square here it looks fine like this but i probably wouldn't even have realized it but i got down to the end and i needed the size that I used here <laughs> and I'm like I don't have those left all I have are these tiny ones left so I had a couple green pieces left too I don't know if I cut too many which I suppose is possible that I just cut too many of them I'll have to look that up but anyways but I couldn't see where they went unless I just missed it on the design but anyways that's my carrot I put Insel Bright in the middle of this and I'm going to use it as a hot pad in my kitchen during you know the Easter season. I'm trying to make different hot pads for each season and you know change them out. I've always liked doing that with my decor anyway so I figured you know I want to do a table runner. Even though the table runner with where I'm putting it you don't end up seeing much of it that's just why I've decided to make this one a little longer so it kind of hangs more over the edge so you can at least see one block of it. But that's all I've got to share today. Um, I have a few things bought, but I'm not going to share those just yet. I'm just going to wait until I get, I have an order from Amazon coming and we'll probably go out shopping tomorrow. So I'll see if I have anything to add to it because I just don't have much bought. So it's not really enough to do a video with. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I've got. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I'm hoping maybe like once a week to do a little share of the 100 day project, what I've done that week for it so be watching for that maybe I'll shoot for Fridays for that to just show share what I've done for the last week I know today this time it was only four days but I wanted to get on and pop them on because I wanted to get that quilt that um hot pan downstairs and start using it thanks for joining me I'll catch you next time